Welcome back to Detail Garage. Today we're detailing a Porsche. Now, it's a 1997 Porsche. It only has 50,000 miles on it, but as you'll see in the footage from when we pulled the car in the sun and looked at the paintwork, it's loaded with swirls and scratches from years of neglect and improper care. So to undo all that damage, we're gonna do some machine polishing to take out all those swirls and scratches, restore a deep lustrous finish, make the car look a lot better. So to get started, we need to go through the whole detail flow chart. So we need to start with a wash, then the clay bar service before we can polish and then seal the car. So to do the wash, I'm gonna to choose to use a waterless detailing product. I'm gonna use EcoSmart. This is a waterless detailing product that will clean, shine, and protect a vehicle. Now I'm just gonna use this to remove any light dirt or dust that we have on the car from being parked inside overnight. I'm gonna use some premium workhorse microfiber towels for a soft touch that'll remove all the dirt without any scratches. After that, I'm gonna use the OG, uh, my clay bar, to remove any of that rough feeling on the paintwork, make it feel smooth as glass. That rough feeling is actually pollution and contaminants that get stuck in the paint, make it feel rough. So if we didn't take out that contamination before we polished, it would actually fill up the polishing pad and could actually scratch for us as we work. To actually polish, I'm gonna use the Torque 10FX dual action polisher. I prefer to use a dual action machine uh, whenever I'm polishing when I can. It's a very safe machine for any professional or enthusiast to use and it gets great results. I'm gonna pair that up with an orange Hexlogic medium, uh, my cutting pad to actually level the swirls and restore finish to the paint along with VSS, which is a scratch and swirl remover. This is a one step product that will cut hard like a compound and as the product actually breaks down, it'll finish lighter and lighter like a fine polish. So in one step, I can do this work of two or three products, save a whole lot of time. Finally, to finish off the paint, once we're satisfied with the level defect removal, we're gonna use Lava, the Luminous Glow Infusion. This is a special hybrid wax, which is specially formulated for very bright and vibrant colors, like this bright yellow and this Porsche. So let's get started. Take some green painter's masking tape, tape this off. So I'm gonna take some detail spray to do the clay bar service. Beautiful. So now that I have the area clean and decontaminated, you can hear it feels very soft. There's no extra sound as I rub. It's very smooth. Nothing here but paintwork. So now it's ready to be polished. I'm going to come back, get my torque polisher. my orange cutting pad, center it up, very good. So I have an orange Hexlogic cutting pad. I'm going to take the VSS scratch and swirl remover. And the size of the dot that you put on the pad is pretty important. I like to use five to six dots and they need to be about that big, about the size of a kernel of corn, maybe a little smaller. That way you get the right amount of polish for the right amount of friction on the paint. Do five dots and one more sixth one in the middle. That's perfect. And I'll just use some detail spray to help prime the pad. You can use detail spray, you can use polishing pad conditioner or water. It's all preference and it depends on the hardness of the compound that you're working with. For VSS, I can just use normal detail spray. So I like using the torque polisher because it's very ergonomic. It fits right in the hands. It's very easy to hold and use. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and start here in the middle. The size of the area you work is very important as well. You can't go too big or too small because the polish won't break down correctly. So you need to work it in about a two by two area. I'm gonna do this part in the middle first. 
and then work the hood in four smaller sections rather than one big one. I'll get better results that way. Then I'll click the machine up to speed setting one to help spread the polish. And then I'm gonna work it in. The way that I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna go in a grid pattern, sort of like mowing a lawn. I'm gonna go uh, up and down and then left to right over the paintwork as I go. And with every pass, I'm gonna overlap the previous pass 50-50. So that way I get even removal of paint over the entire surface, just like mowing a lawn. So I'm gonna turn this up to speed setting six and get to work. So I finished with this pass. I know that I'm done because the polish actually begins to turn clear. So once the polish turns clear, the abrasives have actually broken down and worked on the paintwork. So when you go to buff off any residue, you're hardly removing anything at all. It's actually all broken down and done its work. Now I already did a, um, a test spot on the hood earlier to determine the best combination of machine to use, the pad to use, and the choice of compound. So I went through about four different uh, choices of all those factors before I decided on VSS with an orange pad. And I like the cut that that got and the finish on this part of the hood. Now, you notice this is a kind of awkward spot this hood has this ridge here in the middle, and uh, I want to avoid ever rolling over a ridge, a, a ridge like this a hard body line when you work, because when the paint is sprayed on, it's wet, you can think of this like a hill. So the paint hits and it rolls off. So the paint is actually very thin right on the ridge. You don't want to polish too hard on those parts, otherwise you can eat through all the paint, and then you have to get the whole part repainted. So I want to avoid that, help the paint last as long as possible. That's good looks and feels a lot better. I'm gonna move on, polish the rest of this half of the hood, and uh, we'll pull the car out in the sun and show you the big before and after when we're done. So I finished with the pass with VSS on this half of the hood. Now I'm gonna pull the car outside into the sun so you can see the big before and after on this Porsche paintwork. See you in a second. So we just finished with the polishing and as you can see, the hood of this Porsche looks a lot better. We took out a lot of the swirls and scratches, restored the gloss and the depth on this bright yellow paint. Now it's time to protect it. I want to help this paint look better for as long as it can. I want to enhance the gloss, enhance the color, and help keep out UV sunlight and pollution from damaging the paint. So for this job, I've chosen to use lava, the Luminous Glow Infusion. Lava is a hybrid type of wax it's not a paste wax or a cream. It's more like a soft, uh, my putty consistency. Now, lava is great to use on very bright colors like bright yellows, reds, or even blues. Really helps to enhance those beautiful colors, make them look awesome. I'm just gonna take a microfiber applicator and dip it here in the pot to pull out some lava. Now, just like with any other wax or sealant coating, you don't need to put a lot on the surface. I'm gonna take the microfiber app applicator. Just kind of dab this out all around. So this amount that I laid down is already enough to do half the hood. And you want a thin even coat over the whole surface. 
Anything you actually see on the paintwork on top of it is excess product. So anything you wipe off is actually being wasted. So get a thin, even coat, and that's all you need. If you want more protection, if you want to ensure 100% coverage, just do a second light coat the same way, and you'll get the full effect of the wax on the surface. This is looking very, very good. So I'm going to spread lava over the surface, and I'm going to give it 20 minutes to cure and bond before I go ahead and buff it off. I'm going to do the entire hood right now. So now we're back, the wax is cured on the vehicle and it's ready to be removed. If you're ever wondering if the wax is dry enough to remove yet, you just do the finger test, take your finger, swipe it across the wax and if it buffs off like that, it's ready to go. I'm going to take another workhorse microfiber towel and I'm going to buff off the wax. Um, whenever you're using microfiber, it's best to do the fourfold. So I have a towel laid out like this, I'm going to fold it in half and then fold it in half one more time. That way, when I fill up one side with any dirt, debris, or used up wax, I can flip it and have a total of eight surfaces to use the entire towel and do all the jobs that I need, that I need to do. I'm gonna take the towel, fold it in fours, and just buff in straight lines. You can see how easily the lava buffs off from the surface with no issues. If you use the right amount of product and the right application methods, any wax or sealant will remove just as easily. This paint is looking very, very good now. Owner of the car is going to be very pleased with this outcome. We've taken years off this car. We've helped to restore this bright yellow finish restore the depth and the clarity to the paint. We're really making it pop with this wax too. Come over to this side, buff off any remaining wax. Wow. <laughs> this looks fantastic. So you can see with a one-step polish, we were able to achieve great results using VSS. So VSS, remember, started hard like a compound to remove the heavy swirls and scratches, some oxidation and water spots we had on the paintwork. Then it finished like a fine polish. So we didn't have to switch pads. We didn't have to do a whole nother step, which if you're polishing an entire car, will save you hours. To polish a whole car is like a 20-hour job with a two-step polish um, process. It was one step, you know, you could easily knock the whole thing out in like half that time. So it definitely saved a whole lot of time. And then we enhanced the finish using lava, the luminous glow infusion. So if you have any questions on any of the products that we used, you can check them out on our website. Links are right below in the description. If you want to learn how to detail any part of your vehicle, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have over 600 videos showing you how to detail any part of your car. You got a nice car? Let's keep it clean with Chemical Guys. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs>